the 2023 Bet Victor Snooker Shootout Champion, Mark Allen. What a night that's been, Mark. Yeah, it's crazy and it's chaotic. It is just what the shootout's all about, really. Uh, but you always feel if you can get into that final session on the last day, that last 16, everything happens so quickly now after that you can get on a bit of a roll. So, yeah, if you just get into that last session, you, you feel like all those 16 players have a good chance of winning, so I'm glad to come out on top. And 10 years after you last reached the final, now you've gone and won it. Is it sort of a box ticked off for you? Is it, is it another event? Because you've, you've won sort of, you know, a lot of the premium events, the UKs, the Masters, you've won the Home Nations, of course, at the Northern Ireland Open twice. Is this another box ticked for Mark Allen? Okay, it's a box ticked in the sense that I enter the tournament and I won the tournament. No, that's what I want to do every time I enter one. So I'm not going to put it anywhere near like the likes of the Masters of the UK or Northern Ireland or things like that. That's no be realistic about where the, the event is on the sort of grand scheme of things. But I still want to win the event. I wouldn't enter if I didn't. So uh, I'm happy to you know, tick that box, as you say. But it is quite an important one for you in the grand scheme of the season because you weren't qualified for the World Grand Prix before you came here. You now absolutely definitely are with bells on and um, it could mean a lot for you in the, the scope of the season, this, couldn't it? Yeah, and I was very, very aware of that uh, this week. Uh, I was keeping an eye on the rankings, which isn't a nice thing to have to do when you're sort of world number three or four. Uh, but it just shows that I've done well in the wrong events. No when it comes to like those Grand Prix and stuff like that, you need to do well in certain events. And it's been a new venue for us here in Swansea. Um, first time here, it's a brand new arena. Yeah. The crowd has been spectacular, haven't they? Honestly, it, I was a little disappointed on Wednesday because the ticket sales hadn't went well, too well. It was a little quiet, but today was absolutely nuts. It reminded me of when we first played in Blackpool because that was, in my opinion, the best shootout venue. This is right up there for me. It was unbelievable there today. The crowd got noisier and noisier as the day went on. There was a few abusive things thrown at me as the night went on, which were great fun. You have to, you have to just embrace that. I knew that sort of, I'm mentally prepared for what they're going to throw at me. So uh, it was good to sort of have that again here at the shootout because there has been a few years where it sort of dwindled a little. And I think it's right back to its very best there this week. Fantastic. You head up to Edinburgh now for the Scottish Open. Starts in just two days and you play in two days as well. Play Jamie Jones in the evening. You're heading there in fine form. You've got to be confident. Yeah, look, I actually can't wait to get to Edinburgh tomorrow and get some practice in because you feel like when you're in this event, you don't practice. No, you only get 10 minutes here or five minutes there. and Then you're just heads completely in the bin whenever you're playing. So it'd be nice to get up there, camera environment, and just get a few hours in the practice table and get ready for Monday because I know my game's in good shape. Fantastic. Well, Mark, congratulations and good luck in Scotland. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers.